Our traditional style of training a dog team for the Iditarod is we start in September with a team that's pretty much completely out of shape. And we're going to build them up pretty much all year. We're building, building, building till we get to the Iditarod. We try to do as much training as possible and get them as in shape as possible by the Iditarod. But by being able to train year round, we're able to maintain a level of conditioning and then peak for the Iditarod. The biggest thing that this does for us is develops the heart. That's huge. The dog's just running every single day, works that muscle that is their heart, and it grows and grows and grows. Human athletes, along with pretty much every other mammal, can build their heart from 0.06% of their body mass up to 0.08% of their body mass. A canine starts at 0.08% and can build it to over 1% of their body mass, larger than any other mammal proportionate to their body size. By being able to work them out year round, we can build that heart year round. Rather than just trying to peak for one race, we can continually build a baseline for the dogs and then spike from there. All the little tendons and ligaments that hold the dog together that take longer to build than the muscle does, we can condition that again year round. We can create a more solid foundation for the dog to build from as we lead into the Iditarod. <laughs>